know what? When you travel across the Philippines from north to south, you don't just get to see the breathtaking change in scenery, but you also get to experience the different cultures from one province to another. These traditions handed down from generations are often reflected on colorful outfits that have become the pride of our country. And as a fitting homage to their hometowns, let's welcome back the delegates in their cultural attire. Das Marinha City, Masbate City, City of Lipa. Marilao Bulacan Panglao Bohol Dawid Negros Oriental Mati City El Salvador City Cagayan de Oro City Nueva Mesames Oriental Ozame City Calibo Aklan Kamiling Carlac New Zealand City of San Fernando Paranaque City Valencia, Guimaras, Manolo, Fortich, Bukidnon, Marikina City, Mandaloyong City, Caloocan City, Quezon City, Pasay City, Bulilan, Bulacan Makati City City of Manila Taking City Canada Along the Post City Batangas San Miguel Bulacan Tayaba City Puerto Princesa City Lucena City Florida USA Angeles City Pora Pampanga Magsaysay Pisabis Oriental And Pantongon Antique Colorful display of Philippine culture in one stage. Give it up for our delegates. Ang sarap maging Pinoy, no? 
All right, apart from our delegates, the people who are also worth commending are the designers behind these impressive outfits. Let's give them another round of applause. Ganda. And, of course, that brings us to another special recognition. The best cultural attire is worn by El Salvador City, Elizabeth Amahan, designed by Gigi Isa. Presenting the best cultural attire award are the reigning Miss Earth, Catherine S. Finn, and Miss Earth Air, Michelle Gomez. Give it up once again for our best in cultural attire. And now on to our prediction game. Time to reveal another set of top 15 choices. And this time, it's all about the intelligence and environmental awareness. The delegates met with a select panel of judges in this one-on-one -on -one interview where they expressed their thoughts in what is considered as the most crucial part of the preliminaries. I have the list right now signed off by SGV and Company containing the names of the 15 delegates who aced the interview round. Again, this is not a sure ticket to the semifinals. So Ramon, thank you so much. Top 15 in intelligence and environmental awareness. Congratulations to City of Manila. Another one from NCR, Paranaque City. From North Luzon, San Miguel, Bulacan. Let's head to Visayas and call in Bang Lao Bohol. Again from NCR, Pasay City. From South Luzon, Tayabas City. And NCR represent the Gig City. From South Luzon, Lobo Batangas. Let's have some girls from North Luzon, Olongapo City. You are in the brainy list, New Zealand! From North Luzon, Angeles City! Another one from North Luzon, Pora Pampanga! from South Luzon, City of Lipa. Two more to go, and you're part of the list. Visayas, Tawin, Negros, Oriental. One more, and that is you, Mindanao Osamis City! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after our 15 Athena Warriors on the stage, these are our 
top 15 delegates in the preliminary interview round. Now, if you have been keeping track of the happenings here on the show, you probably already have this idea, who will make it to the magic circle of 10. Let's see if your choices match those of our preliminary judges. The announcement of the 10 semi-finalists is next, but first, let's take a look at the activities that kept our delegates busy and earned them the title Beauties for a Cause. Let's all watch this. I will respect those who uplift all the people in need of a hand, no matter the color or the gender. Remember that united we stand. There's always a good cause to fight for, but not everyone's doing it right. Cause knowledge is power and we got that. It's the only thing we need in the fight. Oh, can we all just get along, along? All together we'll be strong, strong. Can we all just get along, along? That's my wish before I'm gone. Can we all just get along? Can we all just get along? 